everyone! Welcome to ElementalEnglish.com. Today's lesson is rhythm practice, stress and de-stress, an English pronunciation lesson. Introduction. Every language has its own music or rhythm. So if you speak English with the music of your first language, others may have a hard time understanding you. For example, in American English, we say the name of those little green bean snacks that we get at Japanese restaurants as edamame by de-stressing the second syllable and stressing the third syllable. In Japanese, however, a language where syllables carry equal stress, they would say it something more like edamame. So the same exact word completely changes because of the music of each language. The Rhythm of English The Rhythm of English is created by stressing some words and de-stressing others. First, we stress content words, which carry meaning in a sentence. These include nouns, main verbs, adjectives, adverbs, interjections, WH words, and negatives. Stress means we say a syllable or word longer, louder, and higher in pitch. Second, we also de-stress function words, typically little words, which are more about the grammar and structure of the sentence. These include prepositions, pronouns, articles, conjunctions, and auxiliary verbs. Let's practice the rhythm of English by playing with the words in a sentence. If I spoke like a little child using only content words, notice that you would still understand me despite the incorrect grammar. For example, want new iPhone. Here, I stress the verb, adjective, and noun, and said each of them nice and clearly, on the beat. Want new iPhone. Now, let's add some function words for correct grammar, and notice how the musical beat of the content words stays the same. I want a new iPhone. Did you hear that the same three content words still carried the same beat of the music of the sentence? This is because native English speakers say those de-stressed function words very quickly. Listen again. Want new iPhone. I want a new iPhone. This stressing and de-stressing is part of what creates the music of English. This is why if you speak English with the music of your first language, it may create confusion for the listener. Now, let's play with a few more sentences, but this time, let's say them how we would speak in everyday life. Can you still hear the same musical beat in the rhythm of English? Listen and repeat. Want get new iPhone. I want to get a new iPhone. Notice how want to became wanna. Search word Google. Search the word on Google. Find man Facebook. You can find the man on Facebook. Order Amazon. I'll order it on Amazon. Don't forget to subscribe to the Elemental English channel on YouTube. Ask your questions in the comments. And if this lesson was helpful to you, feel free to share it with friends and family on Facebook and Twitter.